Yes, said, my name is Sebastian Paul Wheeler, and, I ref and I'm not here making a name for myself. Not even trying to, not really remotely close. Um, this is what I'm trying to tell you, is this. Um... I don't plan to be here at all. And yes, I've been going through some major persecution already. And I state that. I state that. Um, they've been trying to play mind manipulation on me. They've been doing all kinds of stuff to me. Um... Because I've been straight up. Now, I'm not saying I'm not the devil. I'm not the Antichrist. I'm Sebastian Paul Wheeler that's planning to be, you know, picked up by the grace of God. I love him with all my heart. You know, and yes, I have been through a lot. But I'm not the beast. And I don't think I am. I know this much God gets all the glory. Jesus is the Christ. He he is Jesus is the Christ. He's the um the Messiah. He is the um son of he's he's the son of man, the son of God. I confess that Jesus came in flesh. And I understand he died on the cross for my, our sins and rose on the third day. And I believe that. And I love him. I love God with, uh, I love God with all my heart. Now, you see, I don't, I, I'm not, I'm nobody special. And I know that. And you know what? And I feel like, you know, People need to understand that. All, all glory belongs to God. You know? I don't need you to worship me at all, period. I don't need you guys to ever think that, you know? I just feel like this. You know, if we are... If there's some, you know, are left behind, like, you know, don't fret, you know. Just know God is real. You must open up your eyes. Or no. Refuse the mark. Refuse it. I would. If they, I were you, I would. Either way it goes. Whatever happens, you know, we all must be prepared to say, yeah, it. Oh, and I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna take it. I refuse it. Don't take it. I don't either want to enforce it on people. I wouldn't, even, I wouldn't even want to do that. I'm not even down with it. I want to be even down with it. Getting to people. No, I don't even. <laughs> no. I don't like seeing people, you know, what you call it. Starve like that. No. I didn't even make the six feet rule anyways. Or try to divide this country. Or whatever. Like I, like I said. I never had problems with people making money. Because I was, you know... Nine to five. But stuff like, you know, 
People need to understand, don't ever let materialistic things, you know, materialistic things be, uh, your, um, Don't let materialistic things be your, um, your way of, you know, doing things. Now, um, either way it goes, I am, I, I'm alive in Christ. I live in Christ. You know, and I love, I love Christ and I'm grateful Either way it goes, whether I like or whatever, no, whatever the case may be, I still believe. Now, I know there's going to be a lot of people who plot. A people out of this and that. But I don't do evil for evil. And there's a time and days that we must, uh, whatever the case may be. But do I necessarily have to die now? I mean, no, but he should have that never. Well, I, I'm gonna be alive when it's time to be brought up. Like, I got God purpose, and you know what? I'm here to saying it right now. Understand that. I don't do evil for evil. That's one thing about it. I don't. I've been saved, re refused that mark. When the time comes, refuse it. Straight up. I'm not here making a name. I could care less. Because I, I know I'm nothing without God. And I'm not God. I could never, not, you know, I can't be God. Look, he's the one that helped me far Getting this far, and I'm thankful for what he's done for me. Okay, he's gave me breath. Devil gave been giving me tons of beauty, freaking you know. Oh, already he like come at me for so long too. But I'm not gonna blame him for everything, no, because I take my responsibility for my sins, and I confess my sins. The best I can. I'm not perfect. I'm not here trying to rap and compete against people. You know, I love my brothers and sisters in Christ. I do. So what credit does it do me, you know, to love the ones that love me? You feel me? So why not just love the ones that hate you while we're here? You feel me? Love the enemies. And I... And do that. You know? And I pray for people. I do. Um, I'm not here to deceive people. Because like I said, I shared my sins already. I confessed them. I said it. And everything else. Am I better than the next? You know? No, I am not better than the next person. And um, I thank the Lord. They try to hurt me as, you know, much as uh, they can. And I've been hurt a lot, but I mean, do I think, uh, you see, on my life, you know, saying I, I was, you know, trying to, you know, live for God and, you know, go to churches and stuff like that. And I don't hate nobody, you know what I'm saying? I don't look, now, believers, unbelievers, and whatever. Um, like I said, times are coming very soon. And um, I know I'm not, I'm here in the morning just preaching to the choir. 
And yes, I know those times are coming very soon. I'm not the see, but I, I know. And I've said this stuff before. I said this stuff already. I mean, is it why? 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 I mean, I don't need to um, claim that, that I not. I don't claim um, God at all. I'm not Jesus. I'm not your Lord and Savior. I'm the Sebastian Paul Wheeler, like I always said. You know. That's how I feel. You know, Jesus is the son of man and um, son of God. That's what I know. That's what I've been studying in church for, reading the word. You know, he's my Lord and Savior. That's how I feel. And that's how I know relationship with God saved me many times, brought angels to my life. Save me plenty of times. When I almost, you know. And I thank him. I thank God every single day. Here, brother, this one making a name. And I'm not here being false prophet because I don't know. I never named the time of day. You feel me? I never named, gave you guys the name time of day. You know, but I do know that it's it's always been coming. It's been waiting. But like I said, it's not me. You know what I'm saying? I'm just, like I said, I'm a nobody. I know I, I am. There's a lot of people that have um, been, you know, whatever. I might have been hated, whatever, but I've been trying to tell people. Been trying to tell people this. It was like they said, oh, I'm wasting my breath. But it's the truth. People want to make me what they are. Yes, fine. I'm not mad at the church. I never was mad at the church. I'm not mad at, no, at nobody. But how I feel is everyone should be welcome, man. I'm not here you know how to, I, I I love church. I love it. But I also co worship in my own place. I could also have the Bible in my own room. I just want to teach people how to love each other for who they are. Not because of your skin tone or you know Whatever. I mean, we're we're supposed to be getting along, helping each other, and you know, not the you know single people out, or that's not how the church is, you know. And for non-believers, I tell non-believers get right with God. Why well, you still can? Wake up, wake up, because I could just. Disappear, anybody could disappear and twinkle an eye. That's what I did that to show you. There's been movies about that. Evidently, I did that for a reason. Because that could happen at any given moment and you never expect it. And I love you. To understand, I love Jesus with all my heart. It doesn't matter about, you know, what people think of me. I know they probably setting me up. I know that that's probably what they do. I 
do I love people? Yeah. Why why wouldn't I? I got two Daxon indeed. You know. And do I continue on to continue in the, in the Lord? Like, yes, yeah, God problems of the bright teacher. Do I know what it looks like? Like, like this is stuff that's not easy. But it's, you know. But, um, yeah, don't, you know, say, I don't say, no one will worship, no, worship me or at all. Because, you see, I never expect that. I don't. I'm not greater than nobody. Trust and believe that. I mean that. I'm just like you. I'm trying to think of things out myself sometimes. Not my own understanding. You know what I mean? That don't make me false. Because I'm saying, I'm not trying to deceive you. I have my flaws. I'm not saying I'm perfect. Like I said, nobody is. We all fall short of this glory. God gets all glory. He has all the power. That's why but everything will make good. Everything will make good. And then, because I want to see, I want to see everybody have everlasting life as much as I can. That's what I like. As you know, me too. I don't want terrorists either. I wouldn't want terrorists. So why would I want to see people terrorists? That's called love. I want to uh, as well be I want to go out to church. I want to do that again. You know, when I bless this Christ, I want to be part of the right church. I do. But till then, you know, I worship praising the Lord in the comfort of my place. And I, I want to. Because I want to show people I'm not afraid to praise and worship the Lord. Now, do I, am I going against somebody? No. I'm not here to be idolized. But, um, if people are doing stuff for Christ, I love that stuff. For Jesus Christ, absolutely. Yeshua, Yahweh, Almighty High, the Lord Almighty. Absolutely. I love that stuff. I I can, like, you know, I recommend, you know, that you get in a relationship and read the Bible, read the Word, you know. Be, you know, get as much knowledge and wisdom as we much can. As much as we much can. Do I know it all? I'm not being wise in my own eyes. I'm letting, you know, God, you know, do you know what I'm saying? Do with all that. Am I holy in the now? No. Do I feel like I'm one of his? Absolutely. I still feel I am. There's, I don't even, I don't even think I fell out with people. I just feel like you know, you know. I really think if my brother sisters of Christ love me, you know, same. I I just you know, which I know they do. I got prayer warriors. I got angels. You know, saying that does God got angels for me? Uh, yeah, they definitely they do come to protect me. You know, you know, heaven comes to fight for me. Absolutely. 
You know, I've been attacked left and right. And I can tell. But they, they helped me. They helped me so many times. You know, why would, you know, he built me up so many ways and you know, saved me and you know, saved me, you know, from you know, dying and you know, going backwards on the flight of stairs and stuff, going through all of this. Just to be going to hell or, you know, condemning to hell or just because or me to be against. No, that's I don't feel that way. I don't I, like why would that 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 would be make no sense. From the person from the incubator, you know, and being, you know, not be able to breathe and him saving me. Living on a prayer life, crying out to him. Crying out to God, crying out to Jesus. He's my best friend. He's true love. You know what I mean? He's a promise keeper. You know? And um I ask I always ask to be married. You know, did I ever get married? You know. But I know he has a special wife for me. Oh yeah. Very special wife. I still believe that. I believe in love. Yes, I do. Because I want to do it right. I want to always multiply and stuff like that. But, you know, like I said, I'd rather be the throat thing and white. I'd rather, you know, the caught up little rats are coarse. Do we know when it is? Nobody knows the time, date, whatever the case may be. No man, no woman whatsoever, only him. But me staying young, we I got to. We all got to. I've been, you know, saying after like you know, I've been taken away from, you know. The, you know, youth, you know, saying, I mean, and then I didn't have much, I don't have much friends. I don't usually go out to parties, strip clubs, you know, saying, I did, but no, but I feel like I, I, I don't need to go to strip club for youth. You see what I mean? I want people that they like minded. I want to be able to find something like that. But in the meantime, yeah, I, the, the soul blades, yeah. I have this and that. And it's funny how another thing, and that's messed up too, because Who comes to my place to turn off this? And my lights. You see what I mean? Because I did fell asleep, I guess. But very sick they are. Who does that? You see what I mean? Who gives them rights to come in my place and stuff like that? When I'm sleeping, which don't make no sense, and that's the thing. And things don't they never, they make sense to me. Let's be kidding. I wonder about who, who does that. Who comes in and does that? Crazy, ain't it? Because I didn't do that.
Just be honest. Just be honest. It just takes honesty. It really does. If you can be honest, then you can do, you know, then, you know, I just be straight up with me. I'm straight up with you. That's what it takes. And no matter what, God loves me. You know what I mean? But, um, I'm, I'm, you know, I'm just, I'm nothing, you know, I'm just, I don't really, I don't believe in aliens, like I said. This is just, to remind myself, this is where I came from. And remind people, it's more than making a name. It's more to that. It's no deeper than that. And I think, think, I'm trying to make a name. You got me all wrong. Cause my name don't matter. God is what matters. I do this to stay young. Okay. Like my youth. You know what I'm saying? I have to treasure it. You know? I'm going to cherish whatever it is called. That's what he says. Now, am I trying to go back in time? No, I'm not trying to go back. I'm just reminding people this is when I was born. What got, like, you know, do you like? You know what I'm saying? You change. I live in the now. But, uh,. These are the times that we're in, though. And like I said, you want to choose? Yeah. We're all going to be a seat. But there's one thing. I want, I'm want. i prepared. I want to be prepared. I'm not here to see nobody. But it's either thing I'm um, this and that, but I am not here. God, I'm. I'm not. The, I'm not God. I'm not. I am of God because I'm of love. That's how I feel. I don't go out sick. So I do go out my ways and try to show love. You know, I mean, oh, I stay to myself. You know, or I preach the word. I have, whether you like it or not. I mean, I do my part. And step on here and do that. Well, I ain't nobody part of it. I'm not just showing you, hey, look. No, I don't, you know, he is so, like, so caught up in their own ways and saying, oh, you do this and that's so wrong. Just chill. Relax. I, I'm just being me. You ain't coming to the party. I don't need you to party. I'm not looking for that kind of party. Now, people could come, you know what I'm saying? And stuff like that. But I don't matter like that. God gave me that. God gave me this. But this is what we came, that's where I came from before social media. Before everything else, me, you, we all that were born in the 90s and the clan, we all know what it's like life without social media. Pin pal and all that stuff and floppy disk and stuff like that. First, social media is Yahoo Messenger. I remember playing checkers, you know. <laughs> but no. 
when I was a kid growing up. I don't know. But, um, yeah, I was born in prayer life. You know what I'm saying? That I was prayed for. You know what I'm saying? They were praying for me to make it alive or something. Okay, you know what I'm saying? I was, so I was born in this, you know what I'm saying? So, like I said to God, you know what I'm saying? Like I was to God. If I, look, if this, if I was, you know, to be either kind of, I don't want to be, I, I, hey, look, I don't want to be against God. I really don't. So I still, hey, I, I always told him that. You know, and I continue to pray for that. And he still wakes me up. I said, if I'm evil kind of way against him, he don't need to wake me up. He don't. But he has me. Because I don't ever want to go against God or whatever. Or be, you know what I'm saying? Be like, you know what I'm saying? I I am God. I'm not here saying that. I'm not God. You know, I'm not God. I'm Sebastian Paul Wheeler. Just because either A, if I have a high rule, I haven't, you know, watched porn or haven't done nothing like that, we're not supposed to. Yeah, you know, we walk a thin line and, you know, the thing you get attacked more and more, or, you know, saying more and more and stuff like that. Is there ever a, a man you know, I know I'm gonna fall short. But like I said, how I feel is we must stay strong. And he said the pain is all worth it, yeah. But I mean I will never wanna go against that's one thing I don't ever wanna be. Like I said, if I'm the enemy, hey you might as well just get me now. I've always said that. Always have. Because you see, I'm not going to live in my life on building that praying, crying out for him, crying out for the Lord Jesus, and just be some uh, 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 enemy towards him. No, I'm not here to be enemy towards him at all. So he might as well, you know, you know see, it, it would make no sense. You know, I'm not here to fall away. I'm not here seeing the fall, you know what I'm saying? I'm not here to get caught up. So, I mean, he might as well just, you know, give it himself. That's how I feel. I know the enemy, the devil, you know, and the guys, whatever, they like to seek, kill, destroy, deceive, want to bully, Want to do all of that? Me, I'm just fix my tongue, as in my tongue being bitter. I don't have to cuss on everything I say. It doesn't make me big and bad. But, you know, and like I said, I didn't really have problem with people making money. But to condition yourself, you need to understand. If you're going to be materialistic, you ain't going to make it. Because then you're going to want to take it. Yeah, the guy would just worry about people and, you know, I want them to be out of balance. I hey, I wouldn't want, uh, and I, that's why I wouldn't want to remind people, hey, look, I'm the, cause see, if you let money control you, you're going to end up letting the MLB control you. That's all I got to say about that. Then, whatever case may be. Whoever this reaches out to. I am trying to make a name for myself that never was trying to. No. I do this because I make a name for God. Or not even make a name for God. It's more like praising him, worship him, and let it even know who is the Apple and the Mega beginning and the first and the last. He's already made a name. He already has a name. Jehovah Jireh, our Lord and Savior. Father, Son, Holy Spirit. 
the word, the truth. I just get his name, try to get his name out there like I'm supposed to. Because what he's done for me. Either way it goes, you have to, I have to remind myself who my first true love is. And I'm not against anybody in a church, like I said. I have no time for that. You know what I'm saying? To be against anybody, pick on each other. I'm not here to do that. It's focused on the relationship that I have because when you first come in here in this world and how you know, we, you know, we come in, you know, how I come out. And that's one thing I don't want to be is on the enemy side of things. And if I ever, if I ever, and I don't feel like I am. No, I don't ever want to be. Like I said, if I'm there, then you might as well just take me. I, I, I look, I swear at everything else. If I become an enemy of Jesus, you know, Christ of Nazareth, Jesus, because Jesus is Christ and the Messiah, you know, you know, I, I you know, I believe. Always have. And get the salvation. I have salvation. I feel like I am saved. But I'm the same. Like I always said. If I never be, if, if, if I ever was. He might as well just stop. But it mean now. Because. I mean. I don't want. Well, I know I can't be him. And I know that I can't. I'm not here to be against him. I love him, and I think of every step of the way. So therefore, yeah, I'm not here. To deceive people, I am not. I never was that type of person. I was always on live on Facebook, had not or you know Instagram, not to be famous. Okay, it's to. Up and down to show that, hey, look, I'm not ashamed. This is a book. You know, I added people and stuff like that. My attention is I added people myself. You can see I was following more than they followed me. Because I just like, you know, sharing a relationship with my God. And how he's grown me over the years. You know, the transformation. And you've seen I was skinny. But he was always there when I was paralyzed and... Yeah, I was, you know how much I used to weigh? Like, at 18, I was about like three over 300 pounds. I couldn't move. But I'm thankful for God now. I'm thankful he healed me all of these years. Like, wow, I've been through some crazy transformations. I was skinny as a stick with a mop head. You know what I'm saying? I first started out skinny. I was skinny, like skinny, skinny. You know, and just things, medication over time. Because I was, you know, non compliant at home. I was this and that. I was, you know, I, I wasn't, you know, all perfect. You know what I'm saying? But I was not evil. I won't say evil, evil, like, you know what I'm saying? I don't, I don't know, but also, you know, like I said, I was born. He gave me breath, you know what I'm saying? He, 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 you know, the, the, the prayer life and incubator and all that, tooth, tying around my neck, you know, eating my own crap. I did things in my life. That I'm not proud of at all. I hate myself sometimes. I don't love myself. Because I'm being alone. You know. As in with nobody around. I had, I just don't have that light. You know. So I never really think of myself something special. And I don't need to be. Am I proud of the stuff that I've done in my life? Absolutely not. But then again. I'm not absolutely this, but I'm not a good person, but I'm not also a bad person. I want what is best for people. We all mess up. We have our flaws. Do you know what I'm saying? Like, I don't care about having Lamborghinis or anything like that. People have that, have the fun riding on cars. Of course, they could live that luxurious life. Me, it's like, I don't need that to be happy. But it'll be nice to have people to talk to once in a while. 
You know, but some people go, some people don't. Some people fade away, some people don't. Life's a vapor. You know, I don't know it all. I'm not missing know it all. But do, am, I, am I proud of the, that thing? You know what I'm saying? Because, you know, I've... You know, no, I'm not, you know. But I had to take it because it's part of my testimony. You know, take responsibility. Sometimes, you know, the devil comes and attacks me too. I blame some on him and some things that I... The spiritual realm, that, that stuff like that. Like, you know, there's some things that st I blame that on the devil. Because there were some things like, I don't know what went on because that was not on me. I could never imagine what happened when it comes to that stuff that haven't happened. Because I don't think it's me. This and then building up to have the you know relationship with God back has been now they easy walk, but I feel I have confidence in my Lord and growing up now. Am I being deceived? I don't think I am being deceived because God is the truth. He said, You protect me. He said, He, he, he was always be there. Like back in my transformation and growth. Yeah, I said things that I said a lot of things in my life that I really I'm not going to repeat ever again. Like if they ever try to repeat ever again. Like I said, I have my ups and downs. And, you know, and I'm trying to make the most of it. You don't like me? I love you. You love me? Of course I love you too. But I'm not here just saying with words. I'm here being truthful about what I am. I'm a, I'm a no good person. Okay? I'm a no good person, y'all. Even though, yes, I might do good things you know, because I I have to and I'm a loving person. But, you know, so I am. I don't hate people. I don't. But, I mean, I also forgive. Forgive myself. I want I want to uh, forgive everybody, but I just just don't you know. It's like I don't approve some things that I feel like people judge me a lot, and I you know that's the stuff I don't like. You know I don't like it, but do I hate a person? No, I just don't like it. You know I don't like you know saying. I mean, like as in I mean I don't care what they think of me. Like, as in that way. But, like, if you're going to talk about something, or I tell you something, listen, that's, for instance, confidence, uh, confidentiality. I will see my own testimony out of this. I don't need you to tell everybody in the world about me and spread rumors, lies, and God. That's the stuff I don't like. Now, if you were to tell the truth, of course, I could do that myself. I don't care. Oh, um, you say, oh, you're lame. I don't care about that stuff. No, but uh, if it's any testimony things, I don't need you to tell nobody what I will do it myself. I don't, and two, I don't need you to steal my wallet and take my things that I worked hard for or my original stuff. Or I don't like how, you know, whatever the case may be. When I work hard for something, you never wanted to give me it back, my taxes and all. That's why I ripped the money in face. Because, you know, say, because I did, you know, work after that, you know. But, hey, listen, the reason why I did that, because it was stolen from me. But, you know what? The money ain't even... There's either. It comes from trees. The oxygen we breathe. So I never steal from God. But I worked hard for it. I worked for what I earned. Understand that. And it was stolen from me first. All the things I earned for, worked hard for. 
I never received. You could keep your stimulus or, or uh, cut the stimulus or whatever. Care less about it. Money comes, money goes. Would I always be working hard? Oh, yes. I'm not a stranger to that. Do a lot of I like to help to have somebody to help build? Uh, absolutely. People, everyone else allowed to get married, after, but you know what I'm saying? But for some reason, the devil been on me really, really bad and want, you know, they never want me to get married. But I feel God has a good, special way for me. Absolutely. I would love to get married. Now, that's why, you know what I'm saying, I would, you know, trio, treat a woman right, you know what I'm saying? Like, I mean, I'm not here to be like any kind of woman. No, it's not that. I'm not a whoremonger, okay? I mean, I mean, I look, I'm not, like I said, there's been, you know, I see how Jesus loves. You know what I'm saying? Why would, why would he, and two, why would Jesus want us to be living like him and then want to, you know, stay away from all this stuff and then, you know, claim us to be, you know, no. That wouldn't make sense either, right? <laughs> That's the thing about it. I know I can never be the other perfect. So I remain humble. I try to be. You see what I mean? So that's another thing too. Um, but um, there's only one way to the Father, and that's Jesus Christ. As usual, Yahweh. Not me, you know. But I could just, you know, basically tell you a relationship and show you that. God's real. He's helped me through a lot of stuff in my that before the stuff that I do. You no, know, like sometimes, no. But do I feel you no know, good without doing things for people? Yes, I do. I feel good without trying to spend nothing. Now, of course, that I'm not greater than the next person. Never claim to be. I'm not a better rapper. Like I said. There's plenty of uh, better rappers. I'm not here trying to rap uh, um, better than the next. And you guys are going to just keep on doing what you want to believe and think that I'm trying to be, compete with y'all. Look, I'm not trying to compete with y'all. I don't like competing against people rapping. I just feel like I'm not even trying to make a name for myself. I just want to have fun without someone up my butt. Oh, he's having fun. So what? You guys go out your day. You think that I'm just, just because. You know, as human rights, I just have humanity sometimes. That's how I feel. I don't bother nobody. You know what I mean? I let people try people come to me. Like I said, it's more than just words. You know, it's action indeed. And I take my two to people and put it and every time I go to um, uh, any church or anything, I put in donations. I gave the homeless. I, I have done this stuff. Have I done, I, 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 like, enjoy, you say, I want to be able to be adventurous with a woman, you know, and stuff like, you know, go out, you know, saying, have fun, smile. But I never really got the chance to have, me I have memories, but I feel this more to my life, I have a purpose. But in ways, I need help. And it is not money. It takes two. It takes two. And support each other. Now I've been praying for it for a long time. You know, but like I said, I think it 
is me to have to grow for to show that I love. Because you, to love the one another, you gotta love yourself. So to love myself, I was always trying to get close to God and, you know, and working and getting knowledge and be fruitful and ask for wisdom. And still ask to this day, reproaching. I ask for reproach, reproof. I'm not ashamed of that. You know what I'm saying? I, it's, not, it's nothing like that. You know, I have nothing to hide. You know, I really never had really nothing to hide from y'all. But I don't want to grow old with the man. I want to have a woman, a female. An actual female, not a transgender. I want a female. Like I said, I'm not here to tell you that, you know, to make people, you know, mm, no, to judge nobody. I'm not judging. I don't feel that way. I have every right to be heterosexual. You do what you want. But I suggest you get close to you could get close to God. The what matters. The truth. The thought of truth. When the time comes, that's on you guys. Because I'm not gonna I can't tell you how you live. That's your life. But I can tell you I recommend you follow the truth. I could recommend, I could give you guys this, but I'm not going to force you, you know, but I'm not going to judge you either. I could tell you it's wrong because I plug them all. Oh, I said just to help you, suggest it to you. I may have gone to physics before a board, maybe, and if I did, I, you know, Hey, but it's because to me, I just feel like it's, it's disappointing because no matter what I've been through, which I care less, I'm not here trying to change my body into a different sex. I've been a man. I was born a male and never been seen to being a male, you know? And it just, it, because it's a spiritual thing. And I know because you, you feel uncomfortable. You probably feel uncomfortable who you are. You feel, it's the enemy that does that. I came here to multiply, do it right, you know, but it just, to me, I, I just, I just like, if you are who you, you shouldn't be ashamed of who you are to begin with. Even though you, Get rejected, like, you know what I'm saying? But this medication is not my own doing. Not my own understanding. You see, the, I'm losing it. I'm trying to, you know what I'm saying, my best. Medication did that because I was just so non compliant. Wait, well, you know, they don't want to help me out with that either. And that's the problem. Well, I was skinny, very skinny, but it was the medication when I was growing up, taking a bunch of this and this and that, and it really messed me up, but I always believed in God. I was not ashamed of who I am. Yes, I had sex, okay? I almost had a baby, first time I had a baby, but I never got to see my baby, and it was not my decision, whatever the case may be. Do I have to give people, the people the past, whatever happened? Yes. But I bring this up again because this is what, you know, the relationship with God that had an accumulating. And it's not, you know, don't you see the up and down roller coasters I've been? But you see, I'm not ashamed. I confess my sins. I, you know, shared it, not ashamed, and still. Try to continue to grow and, you know, trying to show you I go through things just as you. Pain is pain. I don't have, the, you know, just because some people, there's the highlights, I'm, you know, I, I'm not, you know, some people don't listen to my music. So I stopped making music as in, like, making it all serious, you know, music videos. I just do, like, comedy stuff just to have fun. Like, you know, back in the day, like, when we used to hang around the porch, kick dumb rhymes. You know what I'm saying? 
just because. But now, but it says being dumb rhymes, I'm actually just being serious and thank God because he's the only one I see or talk to every single day. You know, but still trying to reach out to you what really God made me. Yeah, things that, that happened, you know, that I did not approve of and not aware of. I got used up or whatever the case may be or took advantage of not realizing things and, you know, whatever. Imagination and then, you know, or being even, you know, without even knowing. You know, say not knowing what I'm saying, but being the right intentions of this and that, but not expecting because the enemy was using it at that time because he knows I was whatever, but then, you know, but he was knowing without me knowing, but still being shown. The, so it was talking back and forth and then, you know, more going to, you know, growing in the process. Now I'm starting to see clear and I understand. And, and these are the times where you feel like, hey, you know, but I've always been at, I feel like I've been out of balance. But I wasn't trying to always live that lifestyle in a fast lane because I was never really that type. But I did it to get my comfort zone. I did it because, hey, you know, like I, I, my one dumb, funny mistake, you know, not really, but I had a PS4 one time. I sold it, you know, because of Wi-Fi money, but I was so lonely. As I was lonely because, you know, I think, was it after I broke up with, no, it was probably before. I got in a relationship with it, with it, you know, the other. But yes, I went to the strip club with it because I was lonely. I was not going because, oh, I was wanted, uh, I guess. <laughs> you know, I, but I was lonely. But not like lusting though. I really was really just meant wanting uh, someone uh, like someone like to touch uh, the opposite sex. You feeling know, like for real? Because I'm not, you know, saying I just because I really wanted a woman in my life and whatever. But just being like a woman rubbing on me and you know. I don't know, but not in a lustful way. You know, just because, you know, and I don't even know. It was just, just because of that. You know, I wasn't really, you know, I mean, I wasn't afraid, of, you know, doing different things, trying out, but, you know, just I wasn't really, even, I even prayed before, even, drink liquor. You know what I'm saying? I prayed and I said, God, I'm going through this. You know what I'm saying? My family going through this, they getting wrecks or something like that. Watch out for them. I was, you know, I was going through it. Yeah, and I had to let go of some things. And I trust the Lord. It's not like I'm here you know what I'm saying? Because even when I want, you know, want the family, people say, oh, your family hates everything. Oh, yeah, if that's the case. They said that they love me. They show me. Because even when I'm away from my parents, you're supposed to be away from your parents and find your wife, right? But where's my wife? She, you know, saying she hasn't shown up. So I'm not with my parents, yeah, I live with myself. But ain't nobody, so I'm just, it's just me and God. Just me and God. So, he's my first true love since the 90s. He's my birthday officially. When he gave me birth, and thank you, God. Thank God. And thank you for the people and opportunity in my life. Because, <laughs> you know, this is not just playing victim. This is not me being just bullied. This is thanking people as well. The opportunities I have always. Because I always be thankful for, you know, good, bad, and all that stuff. And I'm thankful for all the eyes as well. 
course I thank God every single day. Of course that, but I want to also let you know I'm thankful too. Let you know I don't hate you. I have no time to hate you. But thank you for opportunities, you know, every single step of the way. You know, I thank God, you know, you know, for y'all. I do. Um, because, you know, he puts y'all, he had put y'all each individually in my life for a reason. And I thank you all for being part of my life, you know, because is what made the story. The testimony is what made, to, to me, this is what made it all come around to the fact of what this, whatever the purpose he has and stuff like that. It's deeper than money. People say, oh, money makes the world go around. No, it's, it's God and it's the people that we're putting in our lives, the breath that he gives. And, um, you know, it's, it was just, I'm thankful. And I thank you guys for this opportunity. And I have this to the way and, you know, people I've met, you are appreciated. Either way it goes. I don't hate you. You know, it was a pleasure meeting y'all. We might have not taken a lot of stuff these together or there a lot of memories. But little good, bad, you know, and I want to, you know, any beef, and I don't even think I have beef. If you're beef, we're beefing, I have no idea about it. But I don't have beef with you. Um, growing older and stuff like that is not worth the beef, you know what I'm saying? It isn't. I'm not trying to beat nobody. You know, the only beef that I know of will be God versus Satan and God and the Antichrist, whatever. Me, I'm not trying to be, you know, in that kind of stuff. That, you know, we're supposed to fight the good, like, you know, not fight each other, not rest against flesh and blood, but not do evil for evil. Two wrongs don't make a right. So, you know, either way it goes, I am thankful for this opportunity, uh, opportunities that I met y'all. Regardless if we had our ups and downs and stuff like that, I'm just thankful for you being part, you know, being part of everything, even though it may not seem like it sometimes, but really, I am. Thank you. God bless. Much love. Um, like I said, it's more than making name because my name is really, you know, I'm nothing. I'm nothing without God. I know that. I wouldn't have made it this. Far and I feel like there's more to it, but I feel like it's a whole nother chapter now. Like, I'm like, they're like, you know, like the freestyle tip, okay, it's cool. And they you know, trying to make, you know, maybe music studio in my own place, maybe, but taking it to where a level where I'm making a name for myself and not really. But um, other than that, you know, you now being a father figure or a parent, maybe, or at least, yeah, at least a husband or something, you know, settle down, maybe. That would be nice to have someone, a woman or something, you know, the female to lay with, you know, marry and stuff like that. And I don't know, because... Only one who's against the marriage is the devil, so pretty much, therefore, there's nothing hard for God, so that's what I've been praying for is that if that's to happen in the marriage, to have the wife and stuff. Now, of course, I'll treat her right. I'll be thankful. And this is what it feels like, you know. At least something, you know, like everyone has a bucket list in their lifetime. And I would like to know what it feels like to be called, you know, like daddy or, you know, like, you know, just because, you know, like, not just because, but I, I, I love them, of course, but it's like, people said it changes your life and for the better. 
I know God, you know, to my life is better, but, you know, I just, I guess, you know, I don't know, it's just, I always feel alone, and then maybe, you know, just if I had that, that, that one a child or two children, three or four, I don't know how much. As I've been holding back, I'm watching, you know, Jack off they you know, watching porn. I haven't watched porn, you know, in a while and stuff like that. And I feel like if I let a load off, I mean, I could make, and I'm not trying to be inappropriate here, but just like I could make 10 babies in one shot, like, you know, stuff like that. I don't know. That's how I don't look at it. But, you know. Because I want to make it right, make it something special, something. Because I want to make cause my first marriage to be, I don't want to be a divorce. I don't want to like feel like I have this to go to. I've been to engagements, but I've never got to walk her down the aisle and, you know, do it like that and, you know. Have the baby gender reveal, and I, I like to experience that stuff. It's something as a human that I will always like to experience, but never really got the chance to. You know, and do it right. You know, put God first in that situation that we are in our the relationship because I want to make it last. I want to make it prosperous fruitful, multiply, and, you know, actually, I know it's more than sex, I know that, but I'm the same, it's like, I want it to be, I want, I want to know what it says, it's like, you know, those things where, you know, that's one thing I really never got to do. People say, oh, that's the greatest feeling you could ever have to change your life, and I mean, I want, if the Change your life for good <laughs> and God, you know, and now knowing that, you know, God's being me stronger, being just alone, you know, the trying to be or you know, going through it. I was saying like, wow, you know what I'm saying? Like, well, look at the times of it, but that's why I stay out so smitty and not try to focus on too much. That's why I step away. I do it here and there, but it's like, you know, Trusting God, I mean, I do. But if I'm trusting God and, then, and I have a baby on top of that, <laughs> that would be like, you know what? That would be something, man. That will be something. That will be awesome. I know God, you know, as something that I love to see, you know, and what would I do? What would happen? You know, but I thank God for everything. I'm blessed to wake up. Well, I, you know, it's like, I know we, in tough times, I want to child to this, but when God, anything's possible. He will provide. He's my, our Lord and shepherd. I should not want, but, you know, he will provide. He is by my salvation. Who should not fear? You know, but it's like, could I ever find someone? I'd go out. You know, and I, I would love to meet, you know, her, but where? So I'm just trying to thought the path that he wants without anybody, you know, but, you know, but I'm doing my part as well. God bless, much love. Stay prayed up and blessed up. I thank you guys, and I hope you all enjoy your day. God bless. There's no hate for me. It's like, you know, no need hate. And nobody, you know, is around. So, I mean, it is what it is. I know I'm nothing without God, but 
I am thankful for all the opportunities people have met in my life, either way it goes. And I don't think it's all there just like that. But I'm just saying, though, when the time comes, when he's ready, whenever the time is, he lifts us up, you know, saying for the rapture when that happens, for the, you know, rhetorical. I plan to be part of that, and I, you know, way away it goes, you just never know. But, um, I just, it's just, I'm thankful. God, are you see the way? And that's what I can be, and that's why I changed my habits of smoking and you know, drinking and all that to show love that I love God at first, of course, but love myself that way, they like love others. So I make changes within myself, but I know it's because of God. So, but I'm, you know, the show actual love because they always heard that, you know, if you love someone, you make changes for yourself, sober up, everything else. And everything else like that. So God bless much love. Take it easy. I love y'all. Stay blessed. Stay prayed up. Keep a relationship with God and stay strong.